and we have Aries in your astrological chart. You keep seeing 222 as well. You do not have to be an Aries to resonate with this reading. You can be directly connecting to someone who has Aries in your chart. You can have the Aries in your chart, or you came across this reading and it just resonates for you. You may have also been seeing 111 a lot. So, future for Aries, please. Future for Aries. All right. So, you have. All right, 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 all right. Individuality. Andre 3000. All right. So this is also speaking about what makes you so amazing and so unique and so brilliant is the fact that you are you, that you, there's no one else like you. You also have family, the Migos. You don't always have to go at it alone. It's about recognizing that family does matter. Family is important, right? Many of you are experiencing conflict regarding family or disbursement, separation in family due to wanting to express oneself or potentially judging those um, and how they express themselves. And that being much more different than the rest of the family. And that could be you're very different than the rest of the family, or you're feeling very judgmental towards um, other people in a family. Okay. Feeling very separated. Yeah. Okay. One more. Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Swords, Moon, and Libra. Many of you are experiencing with the, oh, this is not the nine of swords, it's the ten of swords, a very, very messy breakup and ending. This can be a separation from colleagues, schoolmates, siblings, friends, family, okay, a lover. It's very messy with the fool here, Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo. Um, and then you have the eight of cups, Pisces, and Saturn. This highlights abandonment issues for you. The truth is there was something about um, whoever you were romantically dealing with that they were never going to change and this could even be you. But now that you see this fully, your heart opens. It's a heart chakra awakening. Where you're recognizing that you weren't able to feel like you could do whatever you wanted to do, be wherever you wanted to be in that circumstance or in those particular connections. You couldn't be an individual. They were always gonna have your their opinion, you were always gonna have your opinion, and it was never going to change. Recognizing that stopped you from being an individual in these particular connections and relationships that you didn't want to leave behind because you had abandonment issues. But at what at what cost? At the cost of you and your individuality and your sense of self and your truth and your authenticity. You also keep seeing 555. Five, five. There is a recognition of the burden on your back, right? You see all the flowers. Feeling betrayed. Recognizing that this is a confrontational um, transmutation and transformation of self. That it does take um, taking a leap of faith. It does take leaping into a new realm of what you feel and what you believe and, and what you know to be true. What you know to be. What you feel in your heart. But your ancestors are telling you there's monkeys, there's a heart here as well. There's also these flowers here and then there's the frog. But there's a ladder, which means it's about, um, it's Jacob's ladder. It's ascension. This is the sacrifice to ascension. Recognizing it's not just about the point of stillness. It's not even about the big bang or about connection or about um, identifying you.
you're recognizing that every puzzle has a has a place. You know, every puzzle piece has a place in that particular puzzle. Even you in this world. And you're ready to find where you belong in the puzzle. You're realizing you you are creating your own puzzle. Your own awareness of beauty, the relationship with yourself is feeling um, more safe more calm because you're now seeing somebody more clearly this relationship is ending because this person starts relationships and ends relationships just as quickly they had dual loyalty to two people you and someone else which is why it's ending as messy as it is or why it's just it's not working it's a very messy ending and this could be a relationship um, a friendship a connection but it's ending it had no balance you couldn't hear God. It took recognizing that you were drowning in an illusion of who you were or who other people were. And fantasizing, romanticizing the connection you have with these, these connections that have ended simply to make yourself feel better for the fact that you cared about that person. Even though they'll never change. Even though it didn't, you know, work. We romanticize how things were to justify how we feel about the fact that we still care. Even though why care about someone so hurtful, right? It had a purpose for you to be able to recognize that a part of the journey, that the journey, going on the journey to finding yourself, right, is knowing yourself on some level, to be honest. Every step of the way, you already know who you are on this journey of trying to find yourself. Think about it. It's time travel. It's time jumping. It's quantum jumping. It's no different. You're already who you technically want to be. It's just about seeing it for yourself. You were terrified to try new things out in career, in the way that you're recognized or what you believe in or, or what you feel spiritually. And you're recognizing that led you nowhere. It takes. It takes being okay and feeling safe with karma. This is feeling safe with karma. That's where the abundance is going to come in. Feeling okay with, okay, I put this out there into the universe. Whatever comes back now comes back knowing what you put out was the right thing. This has been your reading, Aries. Thank you so much for supporting Seki Sid. You do not have to be, you know, an Aries resonate with this reading. You may have also been seeing sea otters. Yeah. Something about tight roping could be significant as well. Or birds, owls, dandelions, flowers. You could be a florist. You could be a florist. Yes. Ashe.